Eddie Matthews, he'd be fun. Ooh, Christy Mathewson. Hello? Is this Rick Vintage Oddball Cards? Hey, this is Scott from Reindeer Studios. How are you? Fantastic. Hey, listen, I have a uh, 1984 Topps all-time record holder, Christy Mathewson, I want to sell you. I know it's not very vintage. No, it's not very oddball either. But uh, I want to sell it to you anyway. You interested? I'm not a very good salesman, I know. Um, I'm looking for an undisclosed exorbitant amount of money. No. Okay, you know how this works though, right? What if I throw in a nice painting of Christy for you? Yeah? Awesome sauce. All right, you got a deal, Rick. Cheers. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my holy grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my grail card, a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. Cheerwine's delicious, and if anyone out there thinks otherwise, I'm ready for some fisticuffs. Anyway, Rick from Vintage Oddball Cards is one of my favorite people, just so smart and full of knowledge and really, really nice and just a true gentleman. So it's no wonder that one of his favorite players to collect is the Christian gentleman, Christy Mathewson. And when Rick told me he wanted me to paint a Christy piece for him, I was beyond honored. Christy stood out because he was such a good guy. In the dead ball era, baseball players were generally rough and tumble, scoundrelly types. I'm making up words now. But uh, just like how most of us sports card YouTubers are scoundrels, Rick is anything but. I just have so much respect for him and his collection, and to get to make a little part of that is just an awesome feeling. And I've gotten that feeling quite a lot through this Grail Quest series, but it really never gets old. This painting is a little larger than most of the others I've done, and I'm doing it on canvas. Rick said he liked the Larry Doby piece I did for Nina S. last winter, so we wanted to do something similar here. And uh, speaking of Nina, she recently asked why I paint an orangey background on a lot of my pieces. Um, when I do charcoal drawings, I prefer to use tone paper that's not white, so the base gray tone is already there, and I really only have to add the darker blacks and the lighter whites. With the paintings, it's kind of the same thing, but not really. There's a tiny bit of translucency when you're painting. So when you're painting directly on white, white is gonna show through. And when I paint on this raw sienna, that color shows through a little bit here and there, and it kind of uh, infects the other color, if you will. And the overall color is sort of a unifying element to the whole piece. Look at me trying to sound like I know what I'm doing. Rick and I decided to use the image from Matthewson's T206 card, which if I'm not mistaken, Rick said it was the first Christie card or the first T206 card that he ever bought. My memory's a little fuzzy there. So the uh, photo is actually a black and white photo and I didn't really want to use that card as my reference because it's not as accurate as the photo. Um, as awesome as those little cards are, they were still quickly done commercial art and not very detailed, but I did want to emulate the card a little bit. So I used a very simple green and blue background and raised the horizon line to match the card. As for colorizing the photo, I spent a good while in Photoshop trying to get it to look somewhat right before I tried to paint it. Also, recently Don from Don's Field of Dreams cards called into question whether or not I actually did these paintings myself. So I'm using a little different camera setup here because of the size of the painting, and I made sure you could see my beard pop in there every so often, so proof Don. I'm realizing now that I haven't been my totally goofy self in this voiceover, so to remedy that, I think it's time for an awful joke. Christy played for the New York Giants, but Rick is from San Francisco, so I think a San Francisco joke would work here. Rick was telling me about his neighbor once. He said he was a really interesting guy. He was an albino clairvoyant master hypnotist. And I said, does that mean he's a super pallid Cali mystic expert at hypnosis? I had to look up the definition of pallid there, and it means really pale. I guess if you have to explain the joke, it doesn't really work right. But uh, I'm just going to let the music play for a little bit.
There's our man, Christy. I think it turned out really cool. I would have loved to have gone to San Francisco to hand this off to Rick in person, but the payday wasn't that exorbitant. We're a little bit closer, two more to go. Thank you, Rick, for asking me to do this one. Such a fun subject for me, and thank you for your immense patience. As always, thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time. Cheers. Pop, pop, pop.